One eternity later. Subi life. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Is this your dream car, sir? Uh, at least it was, but now it's my actual car. I don't I like say that. dream cars anymore, I say goal cars. I like that. This was a goal that I accomplished. I like that. Yeah. Where's the vape at? Man, we don't do vapes, man. Where are the glasses at? The Subaru shades? No, oh, this ain't that type of video, man. It's not that type of video. But I do have these, though. Put the, yeah, Subaru, yeah, typical Subaru owner. Got the shades on. Now all you need is a vape. <laughs> All right, so if you made it to this section, the audio got messed up a little bit because my car was too loud. We recorded it yesterday. Today is Monday. Wait, no. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, gosh. I'm losing it. Today is Tuesday, <laughs> and we're going to talk about what we are going to talk about before, but just in here. So take it away, Orlando. All right. We're going to discuss how to afford your dream car, your gold car, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to buy. Yeah. And it's not as hard as you think. You just have to do proper planning, and you got to work hard. For example, in my situation, I was able to afford my car by waiting a year, ended up getting a nice job, and then I went to the dealership. And they had the car, 2010 SDI, as you know. But the original price was actually around 29000 obviously out of my range. But I was able to work them down over time and basically give them an ultimatum. Either I walk out or they lower the price, lower, so they did, and... Yeah, I was able to buy it. In my situation, I didn't have enough established credit, so I needed a co-signer for mine. But it was a really good thing to make sure you start building your credit as early as possible. That way, you'll be able to, of course, go out and get your car. Because the banks are going to be very picky about that. Yeah. And they'll try to work with the dealership to try to get you to get it, but it may not always work out. So make sure you establish credit. That's a big thing. All right, so my story was a little bit different. I was still in college when I got my Subaru that I have now. I was still in college, working part-time. I'm working full-time as of now and still doing college, but I work full-time. That's how I mainly afford it, but you also want to create like a passive income stream, whether it be YouTube or anything that you like doing on the side. Try to do that as like a side hustle, right? Like, yeah. like a little side hustle. When you're not in work, do that because you like doing it. Yeah, that, that's an important thing to make sure if you're doing something on the side, make sure it's what you love to do. Yeah. Because if you don't have a passion for it, I can guarantee you you're just going to waste your time because you're going to become uninterested and then you're going to drop it eventually. Yeah. So. And a lot of times it's not always about the money. It's about liking doing it because once you do it so much, you may build, you never know what you can build from it. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, a lot of people got rich off of things that they didn't think were going to be that big. So yeah, they just had a passion for it, and then it just blew up one day. And another little short tip you could do when you're buying your first car, or if you just want to buy a new car, maybe not new, but new to you, you can go to a private bank, like where your bank account's at, get a loan through them, and then go to the dealership, offer them the cash deal. And a lot of times they'll give you 2000 to a grand off the car. So that's another way to get a car that you like, and maybe... If you want to knock off some of the price, you could do it that way. All right, now that pretty much sums up this section where you couldn't hear us. Now we're going to cut back to where you could hear us. That way. No. Rich the kid. Did you really just dab? Yeah. <laughs> fast. Hold on, let me turn this off real. You don't want to buy a car that depreciates so fast where, let's say the car was like 50000 right? Yeah. 10 years, it's not going to be worth that anymore. You're going to be paying more than what the car is worth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's say, all right, let's say a car's 50000 You buy it, it's a 2017, right? You drive it off the lot, you're already losing money because depreciation. Mm -hmm. You add miles to it. You come back to the dealership maybe a year later, try to trade it in. They'll be like, oh, we'll give you a certain amount. A certain amount. But It'll it's be like 30000 and you paid 50000 for the car. So essentially, so, you're still going to owe money on the car even yeah. after the trade. And so yeah. you don't want to do that, especially when you're trying to hop in into another car. That's so, why the best thing to do is buy used. In my in my opinion. 
It really depends on what you're buying the car for, at least to me. Yeah. Because I mean, you, if you have the money to spend and buy new and you know you're going to keep the car, like you love the car, you're not going to trade in or anything in a year, then by all means, buy new. Who who doesn't want a new car? I mean, yeah, I know <laughs> it's I the want best thing car, to buy. Right? So yeah. Work hard for what you want. Oh, find ways to make passive income. Yeah. Work hard for what you That's want. That's a big thing. Find ways to make passive income. Follow what you love. Put all your time into what you love. And it'll go... Up. You know the blow. funny thing is though, we're talking like where you actually made it, like we were rich or something like that. We're talking about, oh, do this, do that. Yeah, we're, we're not rich. But we're, we're not broke. rich, but <laughs> we give good advice. That's what counts. Hope you enjoyed this little talk session that we had about buying your dream car or buying the car that you really want. Um, we've been going for a long time. I know it's been winter here, so it's been real cold. We can't really make. We can make videos. That's an excuse. We can make videos in the cold, but yeah. we just chose not to. And coming up here real soon, we, um, I got a lot of stuff I'm going to put on my car soon, so. And I'm about to buy some stuff too, so. Yeah. We're definitely going to have a lot more videos coming out. Um, we're working on a lot of things that we have we don't really want to talk about until they're in motion, so. Yep. Oh, almost forgot. Thank you for 15K. Yeah. Forgot oh, yeah, about that. Right, right. We hit 15K about a week ago now. And yeah, next thing is 100. I wish. 50. We'll start. We'll start at fifty. We'll go fifty, then a hundred. We just gotta pump out more How videos. How about we just make it to twenty? I'm yeah, <laughs> if we can make it to twenty by before summer, I'll be satisfied. And we understand we we have to make more. Hey, of course he's going dad. <laughs> but we understand we do have to make more videos, and we promise you we will make more videos. Weather is getting nicer right now. It's almost seventy degrees, so it definitely feels good. So yep, we're gonna be pumping out more videos. And yeah, we'll have some interesting things coming up in the future too, so. Yeah, still got the Civic, still sitting. So, yeah. um. You need to get on the road. Yeah, I know. And at the bottom of this video, leave questions, cause. Yeah, we want to do a Q&A video, so. Yeah. And we'll record that. How, how many days do you want to give them to leave comments? I'd say about a week or so. Yeah, we'll record it next, today's Sunday. We'll record it next Friday. And then upload it Saturday or something like that. Yeah. And then we got other stuff we're working on, videos to drop. So, yeah. Leave your questions below. Ask anything about personal stuff. Not personal, personal, but ask about anything. Don't matter to me. Ask me anything. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> and we will catch you. Doesn't have to be car related. Yeah, it don't have to be car. Yeah. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for 15K. 20K next. 25K. 100K. It's lit. Catch you in the next one.